And that's why I come to the floor today. We have this 2,000 page bill that does not solve the DACA problem. We have this 2,000 page bill which addresses every subject imaginable, but doesn't address the looming deadline that we face in America where one, we're one court decision away from hundreds of thousands of young people being deported. What do the American people think of this idea? Undocumented people, not here, recognized by law? I'll tell you what they think. 85% of the American people believe we ought to do what's right and fair for these young people. They support the dreamers and they support giving DACA protection. 85%, 60% of those who voted for President Trump say we should do it. We should fix the DACA problem. But we have failed again. We have failed to do what the President challenged us to do as he continues to reject every bipartisan proposal that has been brought before him. Every one of them. I'm going to be making a unanimous consent request when this is over. I think I know how it will end. Any single senator can object and stop the protection of these docky young people. And one is prepared to do it. It's my understanding that he is going to demand that we instead pass the President's immigration plan, which received, remember, 39 votes. Not even all of the Republican senators supporting it. It wasn't bipartisan in any way. There are provisions in the President's plan that are just plain wrong, and even 11 Republicans realized that and voted against it. So here we are at this moment with an important bill with many positive aspects in it for all of America, including my state of Illinois, and yet there is one critical element still missing. We have failed to include a provision to solve the DACA problem created by President Trump. His refusal to accept any bipartisan compromise to this moment leaves us empty-handed and these poor young people struggling to figure out what their lives will be. Last week I was in Chicago for what I've referred to as High Holy Days in Chicago, the St. Patrick's Day weekend, parades and parties and breakfasts and lunches. I skipped one of the traditional breakfasts to go out to Loyola University School of Medicine. The reason I went out there was it's called Match Day at medical schools. It's when the graduates of the medical schools apply for their residencies. Residency, of course, is a continuation of their education leading up to their becoming actual practicing physicians. It's a huge day in each of their lives. They've gone through college, they've finished medical school, and now they wait for that letter that gives them a chance to finish their medical education. I wanted to be there because six of the graduates at the Loyola Stritch College of Medicine are actually were protected by DACA. They were young people who were extraordinarily talented from all over the United States who were given a chance to go to medical school. And here they were in a situation waiting to see if they could become doctors. It turned out that because of our failure, because of the president's removing the DACA program and our failure to pass a replacement, two of them have their residencies in doubt because a residency is a job. It's a big job. You don't just work 40 hours a week, sometimes 60 and 80 hours a week. It's a big undertaking. These young people without DACA protection cannot legally work in America and therefore found it next to impossible to find hospitals and universities that would take them and allow them to complete their medical education. That's the real life consequence of our failure to act. That's the real life consequence of our failure to include in this omnibus bill, or any bill to this point, a solution to the problem created by President Trump. That's why I'm going to make this uh, unanimous consent request that will in fact pass the DREAM Act, solve this once and for all, create a law that protects these young people and others in similar categories, one that's been offered on a bipartisan basis in the Senate and one which I believe should be passed immediately. I ask unanimous consent that the Committee on Judiciary be discharged from further consideration of S-1615 and that the Senate proceed to its immediate consideration. Further ask that consent that the bill be considered read a third time and passed and the motion to reconsider be considered made and laid upon the table with no intervening action or debate. Is there objection? President. The Senator from North Carolina. Thank you, Mr. President. Reserving the right to object.